Good morning. I actually uploaded a video on February the 8th, which is my nine month anniversary, and from my phone because we were out of town and it said upload complete. And then the other day I checked and I'm like, why haven't I gotten notifications that anybody commented or liked it or whatever? And so I went and I looked and it said video upload failed in YouTube. So I thought I'd do an update for my nine months. Um, I weigh 209 pounds. I fluctuate between 206 and 210, uh, which is a really good weight for me, uh, which is a lot lower than my goal. Um, I am able to buy clothes anywhere I want. I can buy clothes at freaking Banana Republic if I want, or Hollister. I don't, but I'm too old, 48. I don't wear that shit, but I could. Um, it, that's a great feeling, and I. Once again, I take pride in how I look. My wife's always like, yeah, you look at him, he dresses up, he dr you know, because before, all you could buy is, when you're 400 pounds is sloppy clothes, sweatpants, big, giant, boxy shirts, um, things like that. I started working out again, I'm feeling good. Um, I have a little bit of flabby skin or flab around my midsection and like under my arms right here that's being really stubborn. I might just be skin, I don't know. Um, but uh, as far as my arms go, I don't have any like um, extra skin on my arms, uh, which is I'm really happy about. I thought I was going to have like flabby hanging stuff, which scared me, but I'm okay. Um, I got lucky there. Uh, working out helps because you build that muscle and that framework, um, which is great. I'm still drinking my Atkins drinks, but I'm cutting back because I found out that there's a ton of sodium in them, like 9% of the daily recommend amount, recommended amount of sodium in each one, and I was drinking like eight a day, which is crazy. Um, so I drink four a day, two in the morning, one in the afternoon, and one at night. Sometimes I'll have a fifth if I'm hungry and don't want to eat something, I'll have one of those instead as an extra because it's still sodium-wise, it's, it's a lot, but it's probably equal to you know eating something bad or quick. Um, I do eat anything I want now. Uh, I don't eat sweets. Um, when we were in Europe, I had some, uh, a couple of sweets, a little bit of ice cream or gelato or whatever, but not at home. I don't eat any sweets at home, never. Um, I do have little bowls of chips every once in a while. I have half a hot dog. Um, I make chicken salad from the rotisserie chickens at the grocery, and I'll take one piece of bread, cut it in half, and make half a sandwich with that, or split it with my wife. Um, so I'm doing good with my intake. I can definitely eat more than I could before. Um, so that's, uh, you know, scary to me because, you know, that means my stomach's stretched a little bit, but that's okay. I mean, it's bound to happen. I just scare it, you know, don't want to fall back into those old, old behavior stuff, but I I'm doing good. I do notice that my body definitely feels different. Like I have aches and pains, like my tailbone hurts. Um, I think it's just because I'm more bony than I have been in a long time. Um, so I have to kind of sit to the side and now my hip hurts and it's like, what happened to me? Is it because I'm getting old? Is it because my body's now doesn't have all this extra cushion? I'm not sure, but it's annoying. <laughs> but uh, I, for the most part, I, I feel like a different person. You know, I'm, I'm kind of over the whole, hey, how'd you lose weight? Wow, you look different. You know, uh, for a while it was like, yeah, okay, cool, it's nice to be noticed, but now it's like, okay, I'm over it. Um, and I saw before I had the surgery that there were some people who were like, you're going to have to be aware that it's going to drive you crazy. And it, it, it does get old after a while. Um, it depends who it is, too. If it's somebody you know and like and haven't seen in a while, that's fine. But when it's like a nobody and they're like, what'd you do? How'd you do it? Did you have surgery? You know? Um, and again, I don't tell people I had surgery. Only a few very close people know. I just told people I changed my lifestyle, and my eating habits, which is all true. I just leave out the surgery part because people are haters. Um, one person I did tell, and I've said this in a video before, they were like, why didn't you just diet? Why, why? like, you know, dismiss it like it's so easy. Um, but, uh, you know, nine months uh, coming up on a year, uh, I feel amazing. Uh, I still get messages from Jamie and Joanne at BeLightweight.com. Amazing people. The link is in the description below the video. If you're thinking about having the surgery, there's nobody else you should go to. Um, they were amazing from the beginning when they got my money till now when they've had my money for nine months. And they can just write me off and worry about new people. But, you know, they've been awesome. Um, always there to answer questions, give advice. 
uh, tell me if I'm doing something wrong, tell me if I'm doing something right. So that's been a huge benefit. Um, it's just a crazy ride that I'm on because I was thin my whole life, then I got heavy, then I got really heavy, then I got morbidly obese, and now I'm back to being where I was like even before I started to gain. Because I was like around 230, 240 for five years, not trying to lose weight, not really being bad, but um, just my natural metabolism. Now I'm like under 210. So that's a really great feeling. So I'll give you a shot of the body. So flat stomach pretty much. Um, that's a pretty good pretty good indication that zoom doesn't work as good. So there we go. And I do have some extra flab on the belly, which is not too bad, just flabby. No scars really. I can even get a little bit of I <laughs> can see the, the scars, but uh, you know, for the most part, doing really good. But I wanted to give you a nine month update um, because this is an important stage because now it's kind of like uh, when you quit smoking and you've been quit for a while, it's, that's when you get susceptible to screwing up because it's, uh, you get complacent. You think, oh, I've got to be, I've never smoked, but Cigars, yes, but never cigarettes, so I don't know if I'm just using that as an example or alcohol or weed or whatever. Um, it's easy to drop, drop your defenses once you feel like you've got it beat. So, you know, now you, now's when you got to really pay attention and buckle down. So, um, if this is your, your need in life, do it. Don't hesitate. Um, the other day I signed up for a membership at Sam's Club and the lady looked at my ID, looked at me, looked at my ID, and she said, you lost a lot of weight. And I said, yeah, and she said, how much? And I told her 190 pounds. And she said, how many years did it take to do that? And I said, nine months. She almost fell over. She almost didn't believe me. And the woman next to me was like, how did you do that? And she was really big. Um, and she said her husband weighs almost 500 pounds and his insurance won't cover it. And uh, the surgery, I mean, and I told her, I said, look, I had surgery, I went to Mexico, and I told them, uh, belightweight.com, so Jamie and Joanne, maybe you're gonna get uh, hit up by these people, I don't even know their names, um, but they're both like desperate, he's had a heart attack, he had a stroke, he's not even 50 years old yet, um, he's diabetic, he's on all kinds of high blood pressure medication, so um, these are the people that need to save their own lives, and uh, if you're watching this, there's a good chance you've already had the surgery or you're contemplating it. Don't wait because you could die, you know? Um, seriously, you could die. If you're morbidly obese and you're at the point where you need surgery, every day could be your last day. So, you know, or it could be the best day of your life moving forward if you decide to take your life into your own hands and make a, make a change, which is what I did and a lot of you did and uh, I applaud you, and I thank you, and um, I will see you again soon. I I'm gonna be making more videos. I have a lot to say. Uh, just, um, I, I don't always have a camera there when I, when I wanna say it, so. Anyway, have a great day, and I will talk to you soon.